Let me start off tonight with a quick apology for missing this segment last week. I guess a person can only cover stories that make them sick for so long before they actually get sick. But my white blood cells have been working overtime long enough, so it's time to crack open the news once again and get my red blood cells working overtime for a change. And that didn't take long, of course. I needed only to open my inbox to find a story sent to me by astute listener Phil, who wanted to draw my attention to a small town in Alabama that has decided to encode slut-shaming into municipal law by proposing a local ordinance that would ban miniskirts and short shorts. In a proposal that probably started attention Walmart shoppers, Dateville City Councilperson Stephanie Kelly justified treating a town full of grown adults like an Amish barn dance by suggesting that women, quote, with these shorts up so high looking like undergarments, end quote, don't respect themselves and thus must have self-respect imposed on them by their city council. Now, the most fucked up thing about this story might be the fact that it actually represents a step toward gender equality in the town, as it comes on the heels of a similar proposal to make it illegal for men to wear baggy pants. This proposal was offered by wink-wink racist Frank Goodman, and apparently Kelly wanted to make sure that it wasn't only the men who had to abide by antiquated dress codes arbitrarily concocted by a bunch of elderly white Alabamans. If this is allowed to continue, it's only a matter of time before there's a legally mandated minimum hat size. But of course, even the worst of conservative American dress codes is pretty much naked according to the Muslims. Which is why I was so happy to see a story about feminine protesters dropping in unannounced on a Muslim women's conference with their tits out. Of course, with their tits out is kind of feminine's thing. We've covered a number of their topless protests on the show before, and they have a commendable habit of bringing naked boobs to the places that need them the most, like the Pope's weekly address in St. Peter's Square. This most recent protest took place in Paris during a controversial conference about the role of women in the Muslim faith. This is very literally an entire conference about how cooking and cleaning are the only appropriate feminine activities, except apparently going to conferences about cooking and cleaning. And included in the day's itinerary was a panel discussion about when it's appropriate for Muslim men to beat their wives. Not sure why you'd need a whole panel of people to say no and under no circumstances, but apparently they did. Well, I guess in the minds of these two women, the panel didn't get the answer right. So they ripped off the burqas and rushed on stage. And for the convenience of the audience, they'd gone to the trouble of painting the correct answer on their chest, with one set of boobs reading, no one subjugates me, and the other, I am my own prophet. The two women were greeted with calls of dirty whores, stoned them, and killed them, before being violently dragged off stage, and as near as I can tell from the video, violently kicked in the ribs. The two were arrested immediately, though there's no word yet on what kind of punishment they face. I hope it's not too stringent, though, because once they're free, we have a city council in Alabama that could use their help. And with that, I'll hand things back over to Noah and Heath.